I'm Ethan Sobel for UMassAthletics.com as today we check in with the men's track and field program. And for that, we have senior hurdler with us, Tyler Cotto. Tyler, you're a senior and a leader on this team. What's the type of mindset that you guys are trying to set early on in 2011? Um, I think our mindset is a little different this year compared to years past. Um, we had a very young team. I think we have 12 freshmen on this year's team. So I think we're shaking a little bit of the rust off as we're coming into the season. But I think in the next upcoming, week, next upcoming weeks, we'll have some, uh, some good performance coming out of them. In terms of team success, you guys have been extremely successful, finishing second and ninth in the first two meets of the season. What has propelled such momentum early on? I think it's just all the hard work that we put in in the fall and uh, throughout our intercession. Um, the coaches expect us to come in and fit, ready to compete at a high level, and uh, I think we've done that the first couple of weeks. Now talking about personal success, you've been nothing short of amazing during your time here at UMass, but in the first two meets, taking first in the 55 and 60 meter hurdles, being named UMass Co-Athlete of the Week two times in a row, what's different or maybe what's the same about the way you've approached this season? I mean, training-wise, I think it's been pretty the same throughout all my years here, but um, this year I'm taking it one week at a time and kind of just focusing each week on um, certain aspects of my race and I'm just kind of hoping to pull together one complete race before the end of the season. Now in terms of this upcoming week, the team heading to the Reebok Boston Indoor Games, talk a little bit about uh, preparations that Coach O'Brien, Jackson and Wilson are helping to make for this meet and the upcoming ones the rest of the season. Yeah, Reebok Indoor Games is a big meet for us. Um, this is the week that we kind of start having more of our guys running the race that they're going to be running during the A-10 meet. So the coaches kind of set some high goals and they expect us to start qualifying for uh, the New England meet and the IC4A meet. And talking about the transition, the indoor meet's going to go right into the outdoor season, the indoor season, excuse me. Talk a little bit about that transition, how it is for the team and the coaches. Um, the transition's going to be pretty easy for us. We, um, indoor season's a little challenging because we have to battle the weather most of the time. We have to kind of work our practices around the snow and the weather and everything like that. So uh, going into outdoor, it's going to be nice for us because we can kind of make our routine a little bit more regular and start having all of our practices at the same time and not have to worry about all that. Well, we thank you for your time, Tyler, and wish you the best of luck this weekend. Thanks a lot. That was senior hurdler for the men's track and field team, Tyler Cotto. This weekend, the team heading to Roxbury, Massachusetts for the Reebok Boston Indoor Games. Check UMassAthletics.com for a recap on that meet.